DMA investigates smoke detectors this time. Turns out not all smoke alarms are created equal. There can be dramatic differences in how well they work depending on the type of fire. We investigated the response time to some smoke alarms. ABC's Gio Benitez has that story. GMA investigates conducted two demonstrations. Okay, it's done. Showing response times of smoke alarms in very real fire scenarios. Mike, it's getting really smoky in there. When buying a smoke alarm, you may not know there are two types on the market. Ionization, which is generally faster in detecting blazing fires, and photoelectric, which is generally quicker in detecting smoldering fires. 90% of homes have only ionization alarms, and they may not be providing all the protection you need. Doug Turnbull believes he paid the ultimate price. He lost his daughter Julie, a senior at Miami University of Ohio, in a house fire in 2005. Eleven students were sleeping when a smoldering fire broke out. Eight survived. But there were 17 ionization smoke detectors in the house, so it's not like the landlord didn't care about fire safety, but he just had no idea that there was a difference. We asked the Northeastern Ohio Fire Prevention Association to conduct a demonstration, buying six new alarms from two leading manufacturers, two ionization, two photoelectric, and two combination alarms, which use both technologies, and mounted the alarms in a hallway of this house slated for demolition. There were nine cameras to capture all angles. First, a contained fast blazing fire. The ionization went off after just 45 seconds, and then the photoelectrics after four and five minutes. A okay, number four just activated. But watch what happens in a smoldering fire. 1434, starting ignition. So right now, Mike is setting the smoldering fire. Smoke. First smoke. We start our timer at the first sight of smoke. First activation at the 12 minute and 15 second mark. We have photo electric one. A minute and a half later, another alarm. We got another activation. Photo electric number four. Visibility is good and I would be able to make it out. The minutes tick by. At 22 minutes, the first dual alarm goes off. At 49, the second. But still, no ionization alarms. And now look at this, all that smoke. Mike, it's getting hard to see you, man. Yes, it is. It's, uh, the conditions in here are definitely worsening. Jim, I can't even see you here on the wide shot. Visibility is minimal, and the conditions are now life-threatening. Firefighter Jim and Firefighter Mike, we got to get you out of that environment now. After one hour and ten minutes, the fire chief deems the house unsafe for the firefighters and aborts the demonstration. If you were in that smoke, uh, you wouldn't survive in that smoke very long. A government study in 2004 found similar results. Photoelectrics sounding 30 minutes earlier than ionization in a smoldering fire and found ionization detectors sometimes fail to alarm at all. Two of the biggest alarm manufacturers told us their alarms meet industry standards, but for optimal protection, recommend consumers use both types of alarms. And that's the key. Now, the Consumer Product Safety Commission says it is actively working to improve the safety standards so that both alarms, here they are right here, that they work faster and better in both types of fires. And check that expiration date. A lot of people don't know that. They have an expiration date. I'm telling you, a lot of people are going to be checking their... I'm going to be oh, one checking my car. I have no idea. And you'll know by looking at the package. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.